Hello friends. Let's talk about all this snow and whether we're going to get more because I think we might be getting some more. Actually, some is starting to come down as we speak. So right now in Alaska, we have had some record breaking snowfall. We pretty much have had record breaking precipitation for this entire year. Like we are going to be knocking records out of the park because we had a really rainy fall. The official place where they count how much snow we get in Anchorage is out by the airport. And the official number is right around 30 inches in the last week. And that came from two back-to-back -back snowstorms that both dumped over 12 inches. I think here at our home, we actually got a little bit more than that even. If you look out here on these motorhomes, you can just see how much snow there is. We didn't have very much snow before these. Gus the bus is looking really sad there under the snow. And then back here where they've been plowing, I wouldn't even be able to get through our backyard right now. You guys, this is a lot of snow. So here's how it's gone down. Last Tuesday night, the snow started to fall and they canceled school on Wednesday. They then canceled school again on Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday, our roads were okay, but you have to remember that there are tons of roads that are up on mountainsides that they couldn't get to and the plows just cannot keep up. This is a really dense snow. So in the past, we'll get like five inches, several days in a row of a light fluffy snow. This is what they call dense snow. It doesn't even feel wet to the touch. Like it's not good snow for making a snowman, but when you go to lift it up, it's really, really heavy. Our snow plow has actually broken several times as Mark has tried to plow this. <sighs> the wench just keeps breaking because this is just a heavy, heavy snow. If you've seen our last couple videos, you will have seen Mark and the older boys working tirelessly to keep our driveway groomed so that we and our Airbnb guests can get in and out of our driveway. It's been a huge job. Look at all these trees that are like leaning over and almost hitting the ground. It's just crazy. And this right here, these sticks sticking out are our raspberry patch. And a lot of those sticks are over six feet tall. So that shows you how much snow we've gotten. Now it's not unheard of for Alaska to get snow. We are a snowy place, but it usually takes months and months and months. Like we'll have this much snow by March and usually it compacts as it goes. But having back-to-back -back snowstorms with over 12 inches in a week is pretty unheard of. And the plows just can't keep up. So our kids ended up not having school on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then everything was good on the weekend. I filmed a video of us doing some errands and going out and about. And then Sunday afternoon, the snow started again crazy so we ended up not having school on monday and by monday night they had said that's enough we have to have school so the kids did go back to school on tuesday let's go for a walk here in this path the boys have made there's just so much snow so even though the boys went back to school on tuesday in the anchorage school district over 30 buses did end up getting stuck on the way to school and I heard several people say that their buses got stuck multiple times. I have a friend in Anchorage that said her son chose to ride the bus. He's in high school um, because he didn't feel safe driving and the bus got stuck for over 30 minutes three times. You guys, we're dealing with new bus drivers here. We're dealing with really slick conditions and poor road conditions. Um, the roads have just gotten really, really tiny and narrow, even though they are plowed, you have to be super careful because they're just not nearly as wide as they usually are. You got to slow down. You have to make sure that you give yourself a lot of extra time. You got to give yourself a lot of extra room in between cars. There's lots of things to think about. Even if you are choosing to drive, we have been able to drive in and out of our neighborhood. Great because our plows come really fast and the highways have been good but that's not the case for everybody and we know that. So it is now Wednesday. The kids have been back in school Tuesday and Wednesday and now they are saying we are supposed to get nine to 12 inches of snow. Actually, I even saw 14 inches of snow. So we're gonna see if that comes to fruition. I just wanted to take a walk around this beautiful winter wonderland and catch you all up on where we are. And we're gonna see by the end of this video if we have another snow day if those nine inches come, it's not supposed to really start snowing until late tonight, maybe like eight or nine o'clock. So we will see. We're gonna follow this through till tomorrow and see what comes of this snowstorm number three in pretty much the last seven or eight days. It's crazy. You can only prepare for so much. 
in this short amount of time. Now you might be wondering what the school district is going to do about all of these snow days. The Anchorage School District only has two snow days built into their plan. So now that we've gone to five snow days, they're not sure what they're gonna do. Back a few weeks ago, you may have seen in our video that the superintendent closed down school for like three inches of snow. He just moved here from Texas. I think he just kind of got scared and jumped the gun. That didn't need to be a snow day, but I'm on board with the snow days that we have had, especially after hearing about the buses after they've gone back. It's been a little bit dangerous, so I think we needed to have these snow days, but I'm a little bit afraid of what they're gonna do to make sure that we make these days up. I'm gonna make myself some tea here while we chat. Um, this is my favorite tea concoction. I think it's based loosely on a tea at Starbucks called the medicine ball tea, but I changed it up a little bit and this is what I like. Uh, one peach tea, and I know that you uh, tea purists will just be cringing. I'm sorry, but this is what I like. We only drink herbal tea around here. And then one peppermint tea which I know sounds like a really weird combo, but it is super good. And then I put in a little bit of peppermint syrup. A little bit of lemon. If I have a fresh lemon, I'll do that, but I just like to use this true lemon. And then some honey from our bees. We did not do bees this year, but we still have a lot of honey. This is from 2021 and it's creamed and it's so yummy. Once you have like local good honey, it's hard to eat anything else. And if you haven't grabbed one of these from Costco yet, they are amazing for hot chocolate, tea, cup of noodle, anything. They're so fast and convenient and you can turn it on and walk away. So nice. So when I was back in high school, I do remember us having a few more snow days than we were allotted. And what they did back then was they just added like 15 minutes onto the end of the day for like the last quarter of school. That way we made up the time that we needed to. Um, I have heard talk of getting rid of spring break, which is a big no because people already have plans. Um, I've heard of extending into summertime, which is also a really big no in Alaska because people have things to do. They've got fish to catch. They've got summer plans already set. So that would be tricky. So I'm hoping that they'll maybe just extend the days by 15 minutes and make it up that way. But time will tell. So we had a few holiday things that we really wanted to do today before we get stuck at home again and the snow hits again. So I'm not sure it's gonna happen. We're gonna see. Mark and I are gonna assess the roads. I have to go pick up kids from school. He is gonna be driving around after work and we're gonna make a decision of whether or not we can go do these things we have planned. If not, we're gonna have to push them back till the end of the week. Either way, we're gonna do our best to keep our family safe and continue with the holiday festivities. So stick around and see what happens. I can't tell you what's gonna happen because it all depends on the snow. Our elf decided to decorate our house today. I do wanna show you, we got 50 beautiful Christmas cards in the mail yesterday. 50 at one time, I think that's a new record. It was incredible opening it up and the box was just shoved full of Christmas cards from you guys. All right, I did a bunch of driving this afternoon. The snow has not really started. It's just maybe tiny little flurries coming down. I saw somebody just post that it might snow 28 inches. Like that's now the prediction. So we're gonna go run our errands before we get snowed in for a couple more days. Cause at this point it's a possibility. Everett, what's our first stop? Black throw shop. What are we here for? To get a picture for Santa. Woohoo, let's go. Yeah, this way, this way. Oh, that truck sounds like it's gonna take off. Like a jet. Like a jet, yeah. Ooh, careful, I think it's slick under there. 
cool float plane up there. Let's go see some Alaskan animal mounts. Here, let me help you. What? There we go. What? <laughs> that door is so big. Here, push the button. It'll help you open. Those are those doors are a bit big for you. Oh my goodness, look at that fish. It's heavy. It's very heavy. Oh my goodness. I see someone we know. Hey! Me! Hey Dad! Hi guys, you're great. I would rather definitely want to get somewhere. You wanna go look at the fish? Yeah. Hold on, let's look. I wanna see this. Oreo cookie house. Cool. Okay. Show me the way. We'll go in just a minute. Yes, it looks better. Where are we going? Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna go look at the fish really quick. All right, we've got some caribou. Some more caribou going through the water. Some goats. We got some female, a mom and a baby moose. And then we've got our mountain goats and doll sheep. And some coyotes. And some wolves. Oh, some wolves chasing these caribou. We got our brown bear, our black bear, and our polar bear, and some crazy ham bears. Look, look at this fish. They're like so white. Yeah. Hunter, hunter. It also happens when they old. So. All right, we got some big fish in here. Whoa, they're big. They are well fed in there. Mom, this, mom, show me. I'll show you. Mom, this fish is super big. It is. Yep. Hey, let's tell them a joke that we've heard today from our friend what? Um, Metzger. I didn't want you to. What do you call a polar bear on the beach? Do you remember? Sandy Claus. Sandy Claus. Okay, so we have Alaska Lake Trout, Arctic Char, Grayling, Blackfish, Burbit, Dolly Varden, Shefish, Rainbow Trout, and King Salmon in here. We are also here because Dad ordered something and needed to pick it up. I ordered some bunk bed cots for some ice fishing expeditions we're gonna go on. All right. So we can save space in the ice tent and bring all the kids we want and it should be awesome. I see them. Uh, that's them right there. All right. Yeah, we'll pick them up on our way out. Yeah. Okay. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Dad, I'm going through a little thing. Wait, you're going to try and go through this? Dad, can I show you one? Yeah. Hey. No, I don't feel fishermen hat. That's supposed to represent the opening in a totem house. Oh, cool. Dad, come here, please. Huh. We come in stores like this and they're just, the boys want to look at all do sort of different things. You know, they're each attracted to different things. Fishing lures, boots, um, stuffed animals, you know. So much to look at. Here they have the ice fishing section. Mark's got a few things on his wish list from this section. Ooh, look at that big halibut. That's awesome. Some salmon. And some rockfish. Oh, then we have a large selection of pull behind sleds. Oh my gosh. That one is gigantic. It's really heavy just on its own, but you can fit so much stuff. You, then what would you have to pull it with? Like you'd have to have a dog sled. You'd need a machine. <laughs> this is the size we have. It's like more than double. It's so deep. Wow. It's like a big, you could turn that into a hot tub. I mean, this would be awesome. If you had a snow machine or something, it's wide though, too. Yeah, it seems too wide for a. Okay, let's go see Santa. I think tonight was probably a good time to come. It wasn't bad, the drive at all. And I think people are heading home and hunkering down, but it's not bad yet, so. This is good. Then you know it's Christmas When the snow starts to fall Then you know it's Christmas For the children above all Then you know it's Christmas Cause Santa's on his way We stand under the mistletoe And then it's Christmas Day The 
joyful times we witness forever stays with us. So I'm right here with the glasses. Call you Rudolph the Red Glasses Reindeer. Oh, this is the Santa line. Probably if you come on a Saturday, you'd have to wait in a line, but we always come on a weeknight and we've never had to wait in line. <laughs> oh, look at these fun inflatables. Snowman and reindeer camping trip. Christmas camper. Santa and his reindeer around a campfire. Those are cute, oh my goodness. Wake boarding Santa. And Santa in the outhouse. That is too funny. His reindeer is pushing over the outhouse and stole the toilet paper, it looks like. Pickled eggs, hot and spicy. Hmm. I wonder if they're worth it. Just make your own. You just 15 bucks. boil some eggs and put them in our pickle jar when and the kids eat all the pickles. and pickles and, huh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Uncle Buck's chicken fry mix. Oh my goodness, what? Santa Claus and a Oh, they got some cute little bird houses. This one's a his and hers outhouse. Interesting fact about bird feeders. You cannot have bird feeders out in the summertime in Alaska. You can get a fine from Fish and Game for having them out because they attract bears. So you have to take them down in the summertime. You can have them out in the early spring or winter time for birds, but you cannot have them out during the summer. These are my Alaska staple shoe extra tufts. They come in so many cute patterns now. This is a newer thing that they started coming out with these short, fun ones. They're $104. What the? I like a good old black. And then these extra tufts, when you fold them down, have really fun patterns on them. Some sand dollars. And, and some... Oh, wow, octopus. And I like oh, the splattered I ones. Love That's love really that. cool. Some camo. Look at this white fox, an arctic fox. Ooh, I like that. An outdoor cooking table. Ooh, and that looks fancy. A three mountain man grill. They swivel grills. So you swing them over the flames and back. Huh. Okay, like right here, I guess. You can spin in and out. That's kind of handy. Oh, I got all sorts of chairs. What does this one do? Looks like it like... Is that the camp rocker? No. That one's like this porch away. Oh, it's got like springs. Yeah, that's squeaky. <laughs> that's more for your porch or something. There's a kickback rocker. Don't kick back too far. You hit your head. Oh, that one's more smooth. Yeah, I want to show you These boys have been begging to go try out bows. So Hunter and Bennett, both of them went online on their own accord and signed up. I helped them sign up, but then they did a bow hunter's education class online just because they wanted to do it. So we don't have bows for them, so we're going to let them look at some. See, that's not quite on Santa's list this year, but we'll see. Well, looks like archery's closed. They won't be back till tomorrow morning, so I'm sorry, guys. I want, they must have be out. This would be a good just dad and older boys activity on a Saturday sometime. Whoa, look at that moose. That is a huge mount. I can't imagine having an actual moose head on our wall. It just is so big. I have two friends that had full moose done like that. And both of them, I don't know if you say they regret it, but now they're, it like fills up their entire room. And <laughs> that, but they were so both one like is, the biggest one's Brad and one's Cody. And both of them, they say they like barely could get in their house. And then that's the, every, they're that never they gonna like get it out. all fills up the entire living room. So They just are made for like big places like this. We just, I don't know. It would, they're huge. They're just so big. Is there a concern for the moose and the sheep and things like that with all this snow we're getting? Um, the moose, absolutely. The sheep, not as much, because the, the wind will blow away the snow up on the ridges, but for the, the moose out in the woods, absolutely, because it gets deep like this, especially early in the year, it makes it really hard for them to walk and to move and to get food. It just tires them out, and these years when we have a lot of snow, you have a really high level of winter kill. 
And the other thing gonna happen is that when it's really deep like this, the moose have a really hard time walking because they have these long legs punching through. But the wolves have really big paws and they can pretty much run on the top of the snow. And so the wolves will just have free reign and, and they'll kill lots and lots of animals on a winter like this. Daddy, you know what buck are a buck? Uh, this is a buck laser. Oh, a nice. dog toy. It's called. What is it? Dog it's toy? like a, you're pulling on the ring in his nose. It is a dog toy. Oh my goodness. What? Do we have any kitty toys? These are all dog toys. What about a Luna toy? Yeah. This is for Luna. I have a pretty big bed, but she'd like it. Purple Yetis. If you were around when we went to Ketchikan, Mark won this Yeti and he loves it. I never would have bought one of these. I always was just like, nah, but then now that we have it, I love it. It is so cool. We Different color, of course. But. We took it to Hawaii with us. It kept our drinks so yeah, cold. It, oh, this it's is amazing. Perfect. Need a Yeti cooler. Yeti. Oh, a little Yeti can. Oh, what's inside it? Moon pies. I don't think I've ever seen them in all these flavors. I've actually never even had a moon pie. Pumpkin spice, chocolate, salted caramel, and banana. I've had, I think, I think I've had chocolate and maybe banana. Mm. Nine double decker pies. Mm. Oh my goodness, that case was a lot longer than I thought. That looks perfect for ice fishing. <laughs> You just sitting there eating a moon pie, reeling in the fish. 2023 tide table book. We live and breathe by this at our cabin all summer to know when the tides are, when the good fishing is. All right, the snow is picking up a little bit, but we are gonna get some dinner really quick at our favorite little Mexican restaurant here called Halos, right next to Bass Pro. It's kind of our tradition, so we're gonna do it. I love the artwork in this restaurant. I think the pictures are just so vibrant. Okay, Mark went home with the boys. I am stopping in at Costco because there are just two things, I think just two things that I need. And one of them is on sale. And since we're in town, probably won't be making it back to town this week. I'm gonna stop in and grab them. I am getting him some gas really quick. His car was getting low on fuel and it's the lowest I have seen um, in years, 3.59 a gallon, a miracle. <laughs> A miracle to see it below four dollars the snow is starting to pick up so i need to make this a really quick trip so we can get home before it gets too bad on the roads pretty calm in here I'm trying to think really quick if there's anything else that we need i think we'll probably survive here is why i came limit five they're on sale for 9.99 and asked if I would buy him some corn dogs. It's like a perfect after you come in out of the snow treat. They're jumbo corn dogs now. Hmm. $13.99. Mark informed me that we need our once a year box of macaroni and cheese. $16.99. Oops. Okay, they have some Christmas books for $11.99. One of our viewers here told me in the comments that they are no longer shipping books to Alaska and Hawaii because it's too expensive. If you've been here for a while, when I brought Everett to the store, that was his favorite part was looking at the books. We did it every single time and then they disappeared and I didn't know why. I thought they would bring them back, but they are not coming back. Here is the reason why I needed to come today. I've run out of my favorite chocolate protein powder um, I usually wait till it's on sale. It's $63.99. In the new year, it always goes on sale, but I can't wait that long. So this is the reason why I came. I haven't had it at all this week and it has really thrown me off my eating game. And a little birdie told me that these ones might be a good way to get some good protein if I don't have time to make a shake. So I'm gonna grab one of these too. Okay, that's it. We gotta go. 10 minutes in and out. Ooh, they changed their cashews to a bag instead of, they used to be in a container like this. 
good thing we don't have a very full cart today because it's going to be tricky getting through the snow. Going to get a workout pushing this cart through the snow. The wheels don't want to spin. Hopefully the drive isn't too bad. I like to enjoy this from the warmth of my home and not the car. So I'll see you at home and we'll see how much snow we've got. Well, I made it home. It was a bit of a tricky drive, not too bad. The only thing that was really tricky was if like a big truck decided to zoom past and they kicked up a ton of snow. I had to slow down for a bit until it like cleared so I could see better. Um, but other than that, just went slow and steady and made it home safe. Just got the text. School is canceled for tomorrow. Whew, snow day number five. Here we come. Let's see how much snow we actually get overnight. This snowstorm hasn't even hardly started. Like it just started snowing. And I already have a ton of stuff to do. It's going to be crazy. They're forecasting 25 inches tonight. I don't even know if I can plow that with the four-wheeler and the snowblower. Mark and the boys stopped at the P.O. box. We got another beautiful stack of cards. Give me something to do tomorrow with no school. Here is our little mini haul. I ended up with a bag of cashews. Uh, five of these double packs of the Rayo's sauce. I've just been waiting for them to go on sale. There was a limit of five. Macaroni and cheese. Some protein drinks for on the go protein powder for my morning smoothies, and corn dogs. So for this little pile of stuff, $188.40. I guess $50 of it is the sauce, $60 for the protein. That's why I wait for it to go on sale, but I'm used to spending $188 on a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables. So when you just get some packaged stuff, it doesn't seem to go nearly as far is what it is but all this stuff will last a really long time so i'm gonna get it put away and then we'll go see the boys happy dance that they don't have to go to school tomorrow yes okay i need to see your happy dance that there's no school Take up thy bed, is what it says. I moved this chair by the tree and Miss Luna is batting at ornaments. She's been a little crazy since we got home, I think. Move this back over here. Did you go for a ride? Did you go for a ride? Here, let me turn the light on. There we are, hi. How are you? Did you have nice naps while we were all gone? Well friends, I saw some reports that said that we're supposed to get eight inches. I saw some that said we were supposed to get 14 and I saw some that we might get 24. So we will see in the morning how many inches we got overnight. And where are you headed? My buddy texted me and said, hey, nine o'clock at my house to go snow machining. So I'm getting all suited up. We're gonna go have a little uh, shred fest in the neighborhood around his house to have fun with the snow. Big boys need to have fun too when they work hard all day. All right, be safe. <laughs> Try not to be out too late. Okay. Hey, and I wanna know who dropped a loaf in our bathroom? <laughs> what? Why is, this, why, <laughs> why is this sitting in the bathroom? <laughs> oh, um, having kids is an adventure. <laughs> kind of I don't know, bumping, like bro. pumpkin loaf somebody dropped off is in the bathroom. Here, take it back to the kitchen, please. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, friends. 
You ready to see how much snow we have so far? This is a common sight. It's probably a good 14 inches out there. We'll try and get a better view later, but we got some incredible icicles coming off this corner here and this just keeps growing and growing and growing. We may have to eventually do a little shoveling on the roof. Apparently I need to come downstairs. Mark is home from work today. His boss closed the office, so he will be working from home, but apparently there's something going on downstairs. Oh my goodness. Three Don't say that. Don't say that. This is incredible. You better try it out, Mom. Hunter, can you slide that into the Oh, yeah, that's really good. Get this spread out. We're going to try it. Hey, guys, get off. We're going to get off. We're going to get off. I'll help you. I'll help you with the offer. Just wait. Stay right there. You guys. I've been beckoned back down. I'm trying to get a little editing done before we need to get on with the day, but I guess I need to come check out what they made now. Wow, I'm gonna turn the light on so I can see, hold on. Look at this. <laughs> Ice fishing just got a lot more interesting. We don't even need beds anymore. We'll just set up cot bunk beds. Now <laughs> Come over. They don't On their to... website, they say they use these for lots of humanitarian stuff where they set up I... like refugee camps. And stuff. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Interesting. They feel pretty stable? Yeah, very much. You know how little. I don't think we'd want three adults packed, stocked up like this. Would we have a kid on the top? I think it's fine. Bye. You know how Lizzie and them always sleep on the ground when they come over? Now they can sleep on a tree. Hey. I thought they slept on the couch and the beanbag. Well, bags. we definitely could. Like, if you went to Ladesa, just take this and you could have... Yeah, this one's perfect. to sleep. Mom, Mom, I have two pillows and three blankets. <laughs> okay. You are all cuddled. All right. The first blanket is actually the skin. The moon is still out up there. Mark's out snow blowing out there. Hunter has taken care of the deck and they've discovered that it's so deep they can jump off. Even though they said dad said it was okay. I think it's kind of scary. Oh gosh. Have you done it yet? Nope. Oh man, that is. <laughs> oh my god. It went up to. It's like a pillow. <laughs> uh, this has never been a thing before. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Went up to <laughs> went up to Weston's armpits. I was trying to walk through the snow. It's such a hard time. One second. The snow, like those poor moves. Like, it is up past my waist. Hey, yeah, just jump off like that. That's what I do. Oh guys, the eagle just flew over. Just jump off like that. Hey, it's fun. Just jump off. Are you having a Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't even move. Mark is getting stuck out there. He's up ah. above his waist. This is like when I was snow machining last night. You stop and it was just like, woo. <laughs> Bottomless pit. Did you mention that that with this snowfall, 
we're at a record, all-time record for precipitation this year. It's over, it was 27 and a half inches before, and now I think we're over 28 inches. This is for the whole calendar year, and we still have a couple weeks left, so it just corroborates the feeling we've all had that it's been wet and lots of snow. So deep. It is about 2.30 in the afternoon, and the sun is not very high in the sky. We are about seven days away from winter solstice when we start getting more daylight. We're still losing daylight every day. So this time of year, you can feel like the days are really, really short. The sun doesn't get high in the sky and it doesn't come up till after 10.30 and goes down uh, around 3.30. But it's still not the shortest day of the week. Not yet. What's the shortest day of the week, Everett? Where it's, it's doesn't even not have that much uh, time of sun. Yep, we're getting there. We're getting close. I stepped off the path and went up to my hip. Oh my goodness, yeah, it like avalanched into there, huh? No, they, they no, mom, they uh, like shovel it out. Oh, okay, wow. So the problem with this is if Mark wanted to go flying, he would have to come shovel himself out. So we're trying to do it a little bit at a time so that if he wants to go flying, he can. Seriously need to get skis. This is just nuts. Like seriously, I'm thinking we need to get skis on the plane. I hear it, Everett needs some help over here. Everett, what's going on? Or did you fall? Are you stuck? Okay. But you made a tunnel, Weston? Or are you stuck? Oh, there you go. Yeah. I am glad Grandpa has that snowboard for us. Wait, Dad. You know, we almost didn't even use that snowboard for a couple years. This year it's been indispensable. One of my friends at work, he's tried to buy a snowblower the last couple days. Everywhere in Anchorage is sold out. We it, saw, there's nowhere we you saw, can buy them. At Costco. You know what's funny is some years they sit for like all year long and they go on super sale in the spring because people won't buy them. But this year, can't buy one. Yeah, in our Costco video, the peop we saw multiple people coming out with them yeah, before sense. we even... That was just after the first snow, not the second and now third snow. Yeah. Okay, let's gather up all the shovels. 
Guys, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. That shovel's not ours with the wood, the wooden one there. Okay, looks a lot better. Uh, this is gonna get done hopefully with a plow truck within the next couple days. You might notice Mark does have wing covers and a cover on his engine and his back flaps. Those are to prevent ice from building up on the wings and different parts of the airplane, but it's still really important to get all the snow off the wings and so it's not too heavy. Oh, that was a good 45 minutes of work as a family and uh, it looks good, but it's still trapped. This stuff is all really hard because it got plowed up. It would take Mark a couple hours to get through this stuff. So hopefully they'll get it done with a big truck or a plow in the next couple days. It's never had this much snow to have to like dig out. It's crazy. Those wings are six feet off the ground. Or, or so, it's within a foot and a half of the wings. <sighs> this fog rolled in while we were here. Yeah, it did. Okay. Okay. Oh, Load yeah. up. Coming to get that. Well, friends, we didn't get home till like after five o'clock. Weston and I went to the post office. Mark and the other boys went and did some more snow blowing at the church to help out on the sidewalk. So we came home and we've got some moose steak and vegetables. We're doing kind of a stir fry. Usually we get steak out in the morning and let it thaw out. Well, we forgot to get anything out today and it was still frozen. So we were able to use the meat slicer and get it to slice really thin, which is for stir fry. We've got some rice going in the rice cooker and just some veggies for everybody to eat. At the PO box, we got this beautiful box from Australia. Thank you, Vanessa and Sarah for spoiling us. It is full of treats that they eat on Christmas day in Australia, plus a few other goodies. They also included an 80th birthday card for my dad. So thank you so much for sending that. We are just so grateful for these beautiful Australia boxes that she has sent us over the last, what, two and a half years now? Blows my mind. We also got a really cool ornament and it is made in Wasilla, which is just north of us, but it is from Cal and Debbie Sparks in South Carolina. It is an extra tough boot with some salmon on it. How cool is that? So thank you so much. They ordered that from Etsy. It's actually really heavy, made out of metal. We also received some really beautiful um, scripture cards. They have a bunch of different scriptures on them so you can hand them to people or I could put them in the boys' lunch boxes. So pretty. Uh, these are from Julia. Thank you so much, Julia, for sending those to us. So sweet and thoughtful. And a bunch of other Christmas cards. I try not to show addresses and stuff, so another stack of beautiful Christmas cards. There are some from Germany in here and lots of other states. And Debbie, thank you so much for sending some gift cards for the boys. They are so excited about that. And the cutest little puzzle card. You have been so kind to us and so supportive. We are so grateful. At this point, I don't know if I've updated you, but we are five states short of having a card from everywhere in the United States. We do not have one from Delaware, Nebraska, North Dakota, Utah, or Wyoming. So if you are in one of those places and would like to send us a card, we would love to have it. If not, that's okay too. I just figured that I would show you some of the things that came today. Mark says that dinner looks really pretty, so let's check it out. Oh, it looks all bright red. Really. But it was like this. All right, we got a beautiful, simple dinner here. Veggies, meat. Thank you so much for spending another snow day with us. We got the snow, we broke the records. Hopefully it'll give us a break for a little while and the kids will go to school tomorrow and they will have their last week before Christmas break because at this point we feel like Christmas break has already started a week early. Well friends, it came. The snow came again. We had another snow day. Hopefully that's the end of it for a little while. Uh, we're supposed to have a break in snowstorms here. Um, I'll see it when I... 
I'll believe it when I see it. Um, this has been unprecedented. We have broke all the records for snowfall in December, for precipitation for the year, for back-to-back -back huge storms. So I think we're ready for a little bit of a break. Thank you so much for spending time with us. We are so grateful for each and every one of you. Merry Christmas. We love you. And we'll see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life. And I realize we haven't really seen Luna today. Let's go on a Luna hunt. I bet she's either on our bed, nope, or under my desk. She's under the desk. Hi, Luna. Hello. Yeah, you hanging out next to the heater? Hello. Yeah. Good girl. Staying nice and warm. I can hardly believe it. Minutes after I turned the camera off, they announced another snow day tomorrow. Come back to see how we fill up snow day number six, I guess. I don't know. We'll see if I pick up the camera. This is getting pretty redundant at this point and feels a little bit ridiculous if I'm being honest. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out with us. But, oh, this mama was ready to have the kids back in school for a day and get a few things done before the weekend, but not going to happen. Fingers crossed they will go back to school for the full four days next week. Thank <laughs> you.